welcome to the breath experience today. My intention is to share a little bit about um, the breath work process that we are going to explore today and then to facilitate and guide you on a mini journey. To start, what you're going to need to prepare if you're going to join into this journey, if you are joining into this journey, you want to make sure that you are in a space, a place, an environment that you will be uninterrupted for potentially 30 minutes to 45 minutes. You might want some time afterwards just to be quiet with yourself, to journal. So do some housekeeping, like really navigate and connect with your environment right now to create that space. You wanna make your space as comfortable as possible to support your experience today. Um, I am personally in my tent, which I absolutely love. But some of the things I like to have nearby are a blanket, a pillow. Um, if you're not lying down, you might be sitting like I am. I'm in a seat behind me that is supporting my back. This particular breath experience, you wanna make sure that your, your torso, if at all possible, your head, but at least your torso, your back is fully supported. And the support is so our diaphragm can actually have space to relax because we are going to be dropping deep into diaphragmatic breathing. So we want relaxation in the part of our body. We also want to be able to support a system today in letting go versus so often our nature, our human nature is to control or force, or even when we breathe, it's like taking in versus allowing and allowance. So the environment that supports an allowance and allowing today. When I think of breath, I actually think it's an exploration of the most intimate relationship we will ever experience while being alive. Why do I think that? It's more so that I feel that because breath, it's something that is always moving in my body, often for the highest well-being of my entire system. It continues to want and desire to give me life to the best of its ability, even if I am not giving it presence or awareness, even if I haven't yet developed a relationship with my breath. I often think of an experienced breath as making love through us. It's nourishing us, it's bringing us, bringing us life, it's invigorating, calming and fueling and, you know, holding our nervous system like a blanket. So imagine what life would be like if we actually developed a mindful and aware relationship with the breath that moves within us all the time. For me, it goes from living life in black and white, living life run by stress, overwhelm, to, to being guided by life, to actually feeling more, more vital, right? It's just if we breathe more, what happens? We actually will feel more. And sometimes that is a challenge within itself. Over two decades ago, I had this awareness in my life where I recognized that I was living half numb. And something had catapulted me into this awareness where I went to the complete extreme other side of that, where I felt more physically, energetically, emotionally 
that I had ever felt in my entire lifetime. And it was in that moment that I, my mantra to myself, that I love to share, but it was really confirmation and affirmation in my life, that I would rather feel everything than to feel nothing at all. Because the key is, if we are going to feel pleasure, if we are going to feel joy and alive, of course, what comes with that is the uncomfortable. Sometimes what our minds might define as pain. Our bodies might feel it as pain and discomfort. However, what I know, what I have experienced in being alive is to feel one, we have to actually feel it all. And what happens because we choose or we do our best to choose not to feel certain things, what happens is we hold our breath. And the number one reason why we hold our breath, (gasps) right? It's protection. We constrict, we pull in, we guard, we don't want to feel. And if it is a repeat experience, you know, our life is being run by the way that our mind has judged the experience. So not necessarily the experience as being um, bad. We have a little bee friend with us. (laughs) But rather the experience is like, oh, I don't want to feel that. That is a terrible experience. That was uncomfortable. That was painful. And I'm not saying that that's not true. You know, many of our realities, when the body's instinct instinctually pulls in and pulls up, that fight, flight, or freeze experience. It's doing so to keep us out of harm's way. And often now it's kind of finding that space of what is real harm and what is real urgency, where the nervous system, the mind gets locked onto the ideas and creates false panic and urgency. And how can we come back to developing a relationship with our breath so it supports our nervous system to stay in a clear place, to stay calm and centered, to have support our minds to not just fade off and do nothing, yet to be more present, to be more grounded, to be more available for when those moments showed up so many are showing up present day when these moments show up that we actually have to step up and forward to make a really clear decision and if i don't have the ability in my system to make that clear decision it might turn for the worse most of us in human form, use about one third of our respiratory system. While, you know, it is this breath that we need to bring us life, we're often engaging our secondary diaphragmatic muscles, which are up higher in the chest. And truly the primary diaphragmatic muscle is resting at the lower part of our rib cage. And that is also that place where, (gasps) Again, if you stub your toe and we stub our toe and we feel pain, (gasps) that hurts just demonstrating that everything pulls up. Try it yourself. You might have experienced it. So today, my invitation, my offering, is for us to go into a really simple, gentle breath journey together. And some of the key elements in today's breath journey, we're going to be breathing in and out through the mouth. 
You might wonder, why do I want to breathe in and out through the mouth? Isn't that going to create a panic state? Isn't that going to create hyperventilation? Couple keys with mouth breathing. Breathing in through the mouth allows us to access deeper parts within our body. And what I mean by that is it allows us to bring our breath deeper into the lower belly, into the lower energy centers with more ease. It also allows for more volume of air to come through us. And today we want to look at this as actually building the foundation. I see our, if we were to look at maybe our pelvis or our lower abdomen as the foundation of our house. Without that solid foundation, everything that's open and connected up high on the roof, it really wouldn't make much of an impact on this earth, in our earth bodies. And so we want to build an open from the ground up as well. And so this is why we breathe in and out through the mouth. The breath as well is going to find a connection between the in-breath and out-breath, which is, you might see it as a cyclic breath, a rhythmic breath, where my inhale and exhale become fully connected. Often I visualize a ring of fire. That's often what comes to me because it's activated and it starts to move through us. But the key with that connection between the in-breath and the out-breath is our focus is actually on the inhale. So the inhale will be longer in nature, where it's the focus of bringing in life. It's the focus of what we're calling into our life, what we're calling into our bodies and our nervous system. The exhale is shorter in nature. Why? Because we're just letting go of it. We're not pushing our breath out of our body. We're not manipulating and forcing it. Some might imagine it as a silent sigh. And often when we sigh, it is just a quick dropping. The shoulders drop, the chest drops. It might sound like this. So there's relaxation in my system. There's ease, there's gentleness versus which is a force and struggle and control. And so the other things that we want to potentially utilize today, if at any time there feels to be an overwhelm in your system, there feels to be too much energy and activation at that time, I'd invite you to switch to nose breathing. So gentle in nature, still the cyclic connected breath, but it's just bringing in actually less breath and less volume. And then you can come back and switch back to no mouth breathing when your body feels ready for that. A couple other things that we might explore is sound at some point, is moving the body. But the key component of today's experience, the breath experience together, is simply opening, opening up to our well being, opening up to our greatest good, opening up to what's going to serve your body, your mind, and your spirit at this time, wherever you're at in the world. So I invite you now to prepare your space, to find the blankets, the cushions, maybe you're lying on the bed, possibly even prop if you're lying down, prop your head and your torso, the shoulders, slightly higher on a cushion. So it's just slightly higher than the pelvis. If you're sitting in a chair or backrest or have a cushion sitting up against the wall, I invite you now just to let your body rest into that cushion. Hmm. And let us close our eyes. And as you close your eyes before efforting or forcing the breath in any certain way, simply bring your awareness to where you are at right now. 
What does your body feel like in the room that you are in? What does your body feel like resting against the chair or the cushion that you might be lying or sitting upon? And together, let's just allow in a wonderful belly breath with a gentle sigh on the exhale. Continuing to allow in another belly breath. Ah, another sigh on your out breath. And continuing that pattern, that rhythm of inhaling into the belly, exhaling with a gentle sigh. Sighs are often messengers to the body, letting our body know that it's safe in this moment, in this moment to relax. Ah. And then gently taking your own hands and placing them on the lowest part of your abdomen where the soft part of the belly meets the pubic bone. Just allowing the pressure of your hands right now to be a guide, inviting your breath to meet the palms of your hand deep down into the lower belly. Continuing to breathe. Continuing to bring and guide that breath down to your lowest part of your abdomen. And feel what it feels like with your hands rising and falling on your belly. And with each breath now, each breath, we call in the I am presence and higher self to fully manifest the performance effect and embodiment of the highest possibilities of divine right action in this journey with every breath today. (sighs) Under grace, perfect integration, perfect alignment and remembrance of the source energy within and perfect acceptance of all our good here now. As you continue to breathe, the breath rises and falls effortlessly. Feeling the hands rise and fall on the lower abdomen. Feeling the exhale simply surrender like a wave crashing onto the shore. And with each breath, Connecting to your own spirit guides, connecting to your own higher self. As I call in the ascended masters of light and all light beings, the nature being, the earth being, and the source. As we open up now for only that which serves the highest of good, enters into our individual and collective shared space here today feeling the support of the four directions above and below, holding us and embracing us here today. My breath effortlessly fills my lower abdomen. My breath effortlessly fills my belly, the place of my inner earth. My exhale is surrendered to my current experience. I know that it is safe today in this moment to breathe, to bring in the wellness of every breath I breathe. (sighs) 
Maybe feeling that breath begin to rise up as the earth beneath us opens. We begin to receive in this breath as we breathe up from the earth, feeling the breath rise up through our roots, our tailbone, up through our sexual center, our belly, riding up like a wave, like a river, riding up through the solar plexus, the heart and the upper throat. And in every exhale, that breath, like a waterfall cascading down through our bodies, through our central channel, down back into Mama Earth. Visualizing that breath, that breath, that river, that current, creating this cyclic experience riding up from the earth up through our body dropping back cascading back down into the earth I am grounded I breathe into my roots my roots are healthy and strong and clear I expand my lower abdomen, opening up these healthy, vibrant roots in my body. My inner earth holds my heart with every out breath. I give space. I give space for my heart to fully surrender. For my heart to let go of working so hard. <sighs> for my heart to drop down towards my belly, towards my root, towards my inner earth. <sighs> Every out breath feeling held being caught in this embrace of my inner earth. And feeling and tuning in to the rhythm of your own breath, the intelligence of your own breath. And together, if it feels right, if the body is calling, allowing ourselves to come in to three rounds of gentle sound and tone as we inhale up from the earth. Allowing that tone to move down through our hearts, down through our body, down through every channel, down to the earth and the pelvic floor as we inhale again. Ah. Every tone creating space, creating space in our system for the newness, for the well-being, for the vitality. Inhaling. Ah. And finding our way back to this gentle, rhythmic, connected breath. Allowing the sound to find quiet. I trust my breath. I trust this life force that my body has everything it needs right now. Expanding the belly, nourishing the lungs, breathing in life. I am calm. I am grounded. listening to your own breath 
as we allow the sounds of our breath to be music, music right now to our own system. The beat of our hearts being the drum, the sound of our inner drum, our rhythm guiding us with our breath. My breath is ease and fullness. My heart and my will are fully connected. Through connecting the lower belly and the heart center and the upper chest, allowing the ability to surrender control to breathe in trust and surrender my solar plexus has space to open, to soften the channel, the circuitry from my lower belly to my heart, the connection between my heart and my will. My heart and my will are one. My brain and my heart are in unison creating coherence with every breath. I move forward with clear direction, clear choice. My brain and my heart and my body are in unison, are in right relationship with every breath. I breathe in this unison. I know when to pause to gain perspective before making decisions. And I make clear choices. I see my path before me clearly. It is safe now to move forward. As we continue to breathe, tuning in and checking in with your own inhalation and exhalation. Is my exhale relaxed? Is my body dropping and surrendering with every out breath? Would it support my body right now to put my palm pressure on my chest? In order to support the heart feeling that it has you with it, in order, in order to support the letting go. Would it support me right now to place my hand on my solar plexus and apply gentle pressure? Tuning in and asking your body, your breath, your wisdom. Is my inhale reaching my lower belly? Is my inhalation expanding through the foundation of my house, my body? If it is not, I invite you to keep your hands with pressure on the lower belly beneath your navel and use that as a guide to direct your breath into the lower belly. We are building the foundations. We are building new healthy foundations to our house, to our life in our bodies. Is my breath connected between the inhale and the exhale? Imagine creating this effortless, 
this easeful wave. Your inhale, the inhale represents the wave rising in the center of the ocean. And the out breath represents that wave effortlessly, easefully crashing onto the shore, making space for the next wave of your life force, your breath to simply happen. Allowing more and more for the body to relax. My body is relaxed. My breath nourishes my entire system. And with every breath breathes, we call in the I am presence and higher self. As we breathe in this clear line of connection to our higher self, to our breath, to our body wisdom, I am connected. I am connected. My body begins to relax as my mind dissolves into my heart. As my heart dissolves to my belly, into my roots, into my inner earth. No more holding. And my entire body begins to dissolve into space, into my energy body, into the space where nothing is of matter. Almost as if your breath begins to breathe you without a thought. The eyes are closed. My jaw is open. My breath fills me and empties through me. And as we ride these waves and melt into this ocean, this still ocean, we open up now, fully connected, opening to receive. To receive all the gifts, all the wisdom and insights, known and unknown, that are being called in to our present moment experience. Welcoming, welcoming those in with every breath and surrender. dissolve into stillness. My breath is an open conduit of connection to well-being, vitality, source, wisdom. I feel the embrace of the earth beneath me. I trust, I am held, I am held, I am held. No matter my circumstances, I am held. And over the next few moments, just allow this grace to carry you. 
The eyes remain closed, the body still, the breath moving through you. I am healed, whole and healthy. I relax and visualize. I am healed, whole and healthy. I am well. well. I am well. I am healthy and vibrant. Fly, fly, butterfly, fly, fly. Sing with the sun, fly, fly, butterfly, fly, fly, dance with the sun as we fly on the wings of our breath. We fly and we soar where we're guided to. <sighs> Dropping and melting even deeper. Mm, allowing the breath to slow down if it hasn't already. Mm, allowing the stillness to expand through your body, through your nervous system. As we draw into our mind's eyes, into an inhalation, thanksgiving and gratitude. Thanksgiving and gratitude for this connection, for all that was received here today, known and unknown. Gratitude and thanksgiving for all the guidance that has come through me for this breath and for each breath I continue to take. Gratitude and thanksgiving for these bodies, for their capacity, resourcefulness, creativity. Mm. Yes, gratitude and thanksgiving for this global community for the opening of our hearts, for the grounding that moves through our body. Thank you. I give thanks. I give thanks. I give thanks. And either remind, remain still, lying exactly as you are, for as long as you wish in the safety and comfort of your own space right now. Or feel free to allow in now a full, long inhalation as an affirming breath to let the body know that I am here. I am here and I choose life. I choose life. Ah. <sighs> Maybe letting it go with a big sigh. Again, if you feel called, another big breath in with a big sigh out. And one more time, deep breath in. Yes, here I am. Here I am, this powerful being. Yes, yes, yes. And if your body is ready, either stay as you are or maybe roll onto a fetal position onto your side. Curling up into a little ball, just embracing yourself right now like a little seedling. You have just nourished your inner garden, planted new seeds, and now you're ready to, to return, to come back. 
come back to grow to grow mm. to be expressed into your world in a clear way mm. and again either stay still and lying as long as you desire or with me gently very gently maybe supporting yourself up into a seated position if you are already sitting maybe preparing to open the eyes really gently you know acknowledging where your system's at where your body's at where your body just went where your spirit just went and as the eyes open I invite us to to look around to take in your space to take in what is in your environment. If you have a window, maybe look out the window. Maybe you see life, you see your room in a completely different way. Maybe look at yourself in a mirror. Maybe really, really see yourself in a new and different way today. I thank you for allowing me to share today with you this this journey this breath this experience the breath experience thank you I'm looking up and we're being blessed by this beautiful beautiful hummingbird in the garden and <laughs> so many blessings take care of yourself drink water hydrate after we breathe about 80% of our toxins released through our breath so nourish yourself now food and water be well thrive you are thriving I love you and I look forward to um, seeing you joining together with you in a couple days mm -hmm. namaste if you feel the call or the need at this time in your life to receive more one-on-one -on -one personalized attention whether that be for you as a solo adventurer as a couple or even as a family unit please do send me a private message. Come on over to my website at ZipporahIntimacy.com to learn more about my offerings and how we might explore our time together. I welcome and look forward to learning more about you as well as how I might be of greater service at this time in your life.